Let's dive deeper into atherosclerosis, one of the most common forms of heart disease. Atherosclerosis is a condition where your arteries, one of the three types of blood vessels in your body, become clogged with a plaque, a fatty, cholesterol-rich substance. Imagine if you were on a hike and the path suddenly narrowed with trees closing in on each side. It would be much more difficult to get to your destination. If the forest continued to get denser, you would have to stop altogether. You might even get stuck out there. It's the same for your blood when you have a buildup of plaque in your arteries. It's trying to make its way to your vital organs, but the path is too tight. When plaque levels are high, cholesterol can get stuck to the walls of your arteries. The trapped cholesterol attracts inflammatory cells and a thick layer of tissue forms. Calcium builds up on this layer and your arteries become harder, thicker, and more constricted, reducing blood flow. That means the pathways where your blood flows throughout your body become narrower and stiffer, and your organs can't get the oxygen and nutrients they need to function properly. Essentially, vital organs get starved of blood flow. When this happens, you're more prone to events like heart attack and stroke. There are six primary factors that contribute to atherosclerosis. Number one, high cholesterol. Number two, high blood pressure. Number three, smoking. Number four, diabetes. Number five, obesity. Number six, a lack of physical activity. You might be wondering what can happen when you have atherosclerosis. Plaques in important arteries sometimes burst and bleed. Your body senses bleeding and forms a clot to stop it. But if the clot is big, it can block blood flow throughout the artery. That's what happens when someone has a heart attack. Ultimately, atherosclerosis can lead not just to a heart attack, but also to strokes, aneurysms, kidney problems, and lack of blood flow to the legs. The earlier you catch it, the more likely you are to avoid serious complications. A question patients often ask is how can I spot atherosclerosis and start reversing it early? The main symptoms of atherosclerosis are, number one, fatigue. Number two, chest pain. Number three, difficulty breathing. Number four, pain or weakness in your arms or legs. Number five, confusion. Number six, dizziness. Have you been noticing any of these symptoms? If so, your doctor can screen you for atherosclerosis using a blood test, CAT scan, ECG or electrocardiogram, or coronary angiogram. An ECG is when sensors are placed on your body and attached to a machine to take a recording of your heart's electrical activity. A coronary angiogram is when your doctor uses a flexible tube to look inside your blood vessels and check for buildup. Depending on your unique case, after a diagnosis, your doctor may recommend any combination of lifestyle changes like stress reduction, quitting smoking, changing your diet, adding in exercise, or taking medication.